All right, guys, we're going to be covering um, differentiation of polynomials. Uh, this is basically stuff from last year, so hopefully it rings a bell. Let's get started. Now, you might remember seeing this last year. Um, if you have forgotten, then here's a bit of a reminder. If you have f of x equals axn, then f dash of x is an xn minus 1. This is a generic um, differentiation formula. So here's a quick example. Differentiate x to the power of 7. We have f of x is equal to x to the power of 7, which means f dash of x equals, and we know we've got to bring the power down, so it'll be 7, x to the power of 7, and we have to take away 1 from the power, and so that's where the 7 is. So our final f dash of x is equal to 7x to the power of 6. Going on to our next example, I'd like to differentiate square root of x. Okay, Now, I know that square root of x is also the same as saying x to the power of half. So therefore, if f of x is x to the power of half, then f dash of x would equal, I'll bring the power in front of x, which is half, multiplied by x to the power of half, take away 1, and of course, rearranging this, I would get half multiplied by x to the power of negative half. Now, I could actually leave the answer here, um, and it, it would be correct, but um, obviously I'm going to try and simplify it further on. And when I simplify it further on, this would be 1 over 2x to the power of half, or in other words, it would be 1 over 2 square root of x. Okay, next example. I want to look at differentiating 1 over x. So I've got f of x equals 1 over x. Now 1 over x is also, well, could be written as x to the power of negative 1. Therefore, f dash of x is equal to negative 1 comes to the front as it's the power. x to the power of negative 1, take away 1. And of course, simplifying this, I would get negative 1 x to the power of negative 2. Simplifying it further, I would get negative 1 divided by x squared, and that's my final answer. All right, I know these are some quick examples, guys, but I'm just going to keep going because these are all things you should have done from last year. So, also remember that um, if f of x is a constant, then f dash of x is going to be 0. So if you have a number by itself, if you differentiate the number, you will end up with a zero. Just doing a couple of examples with that. Okay, if I was to differentiate 6x to the power of 4 plus 7, I have f of x is 6x to the power of 4 plus 7, which means f dash of x is equal to 6. Now the 4 obviously comes to the, in front of the, the x itself, so I'm going to multiply it by 6, so it's 6 times 4 x to the power of 4 take away 1 and plus well because it's a number by itself it's going to become 0 so if I simplify this I will end up with 24 x to the power of 3 alright guys that's all from this little clip um, about basic differentiation um, they should all start coming slowly back to you guys from last year. If not, just practice with the exercises and uh, just come and ask me if you need some help. All right, thanks for watching.